My name is Evangeline Mukami. I was uh, born and brought up in a, in a, in Embu and um, uh, lived an ordinary life. Um, but at around 11 years, I I was uh, forced to undergo a female genital mutilation. It's, it's a very painful experience uh, that you didn't even wish to anyone. At a tender age, you're just playing. Then one morning, uh, you're called in. Uh, there is the so-called the nurse. Uh, an injection is given to you within no time. You're bleeding, you're feeling pain, yet you're being told, uh, don't cry. You're not being prepared to be a woman. Your aunties are there, your mother is there. The, the village women are there. You're wondering what is, um, what is not happening. Because as a child, the last thing you want to imagine is pain. You don't know where, where you're being cut, why you're being cut. Uh, all those are uh, painful memories that I lived with. I never got a chance to be a child. Things move very fast. You're a woman. Usikaya vibaya, jifunge leso, usipande mti. Even in school, you're told you cannot be playing with other people aimlessly. You know, at 11 years, you're in class two. The unfortunate thing was at 12 years, I equally developed a health problem. I didn't know that it was a cyst. But a swelling started on my private parts. One thing is uh, the pain that now I lived with uh, from there uh, and inability also to date when I was in campus. You know, you can imagine with the growth, with the scars, who are you dating in campus? It's even expectant to go to see a doctor, the nurse says, who did this to you? Who scared you? You see, that, that makes you feel guilty for things that were beyond your control. It's like you had a choice. I had series of scars. I had uh, from the multiple surgeries, uh, from the FGM. I didn't know even which scar was for what. Uh, but uh, the, the relieving part is after the surgery. Even the doctor told me, when you wake up, you'll be a new person. And for sure, I got uh, uh, in touch with myself. For me, it's to engage with the community more, bring, shed more lights, and tell them the side effects. For me, the, if you tell me the, the negative uh, part of an activity I am doing, I'm likely to step back and think about it. Uh, prosecution will be there, but very few will be prosecuted. Because remember, it's a, it's a silent thing in the community, like where I come from. So how will you know about it? How will the police know about it? Even the next door neighbor doesn't know FGM is practiced in a family setup. So it is either your mother taking you for FGM or your father giving, um, uh, saying that you should be taken for FGM or your grandmother or your aunties. So it is someone in the family who pushes you to go for FGM or even does the FGM itself. The chief will not man every home. The police officers will not man every home. So we'll continue pushing them. We either get one and prosecute, and we'll only get the one that have adverse effects, like bleeding, where they are taken to the hospitals, then we get to know. But the rest will be silent. And we have seen many girls who have reported, and that family tie is completely severed. So this girl cannot go back to her family, and this girl cannot be part of her family anymore. We've had very high uh, awareness creation 
through the social media through the mainstream media that is tv uh print media we've also had a lot of awareness creation through youtube channels and uh through um the local radios we have a lot of uh, fgm programs running in the local radios and a lot of awareness creation in our communities we also as the anti-fgm board are coordinating a very strategic awareness creation where we have our partners at the cbos and ngos at the community level carrying out community dialogues speaking to our people and really making them understand why fgm should stop we are having men on board uh, coming and speaking about fgm now men had been left behind in this conversation but we are having more men now speaking about it we have our gatekeepers at the community level within the period between 2019 and 2021 we've had three declarations from three communities which are considered to practice fgm in a very high manner we are seeing that we are getting to zero as we move forward with the campaign